What is going on guys? We're back with another video today and you can probably see the title and you can probably see how late I am on this but Cam Newton to the New England Patriots a move that I accidentally uh, revealed ages ago. I remember in one of the rebuilds the Patriots rebuild I believe it was I accidentally seen a, a fake I think it might have been from <laughs> uh, Barry McCockiner. <laughs> His Twitter, uh, I, I think I fell for it, but ironically enough, you know, that was the move that pretty much everyone thought was going to happen. The real question was, was, uh, was it going to be a fit with the Patriots, though, is the real one. I mentioned it a little bit late in the video, but if you want to see a Patriots Cam Newton video tomorrow, rebuild-wise... Leave a like on the video, maybe subscribe. If we can get to like 300 likes, nothing big. Basically, basically, can we get two likes? <laughs> we'll do a rebuild of the Cam Newton Patriots. No, but seriously, if you want to see that, leave a like, and uh, we'll probably end up doing it. Anyways, enough of that, and on to me pretending like I know things. And, uh, of course, apparently, we're going to find out. Of course, the contract is pretty low. It's a one-year deal worth up to $7.5 I don't know the exact details but I'd imagine that number is very small right now. But if he starts and he hits his incentives, which I would assume probably aren't, you know, absurd. Like, I would say maybe, what, like 3,500 yards, maybe 30 touchdowns or something like that to get the majority of the money. Uh, you know, maybe 14 games played, 13 games starting. I don't know, something like that. Uh, of course, you know, he'll hit that 7.5 mil, which is, it's not great. But for someone that, you know, right now you've seen the market with Winston uh, going for basically minimum to the Saints after, I know it was a lot of picks on the season, but a lot of yards, a lot of touchdown season going for basically minimum. The QB market is kind of weird for free agency, although you have a guy like uh, Teddy Bridgewater, which is ironic enough, fitting, going to the Panthers to replace Cam Newton for like $21, $22 million a year, which is just is really strange. Like, it's not like Teddy Bridgewater. I know Teddy's not injury prone. Uh, I mean, you could really even argue that Cam's not injury prone. He's just had a couple unlucky injuries. But, you know, someone that has had injury issues in the past, and, you know, he really hasn't commanded an offense. We know Cam Newton, when healthy, can command an offense and do special things. So it's a little weird that, you know, a one year test player going to a team with a really good salary cap situation is getting so little of money. I don't know. This is just the NFL. Of course, Cam Newton had, you know, a couple of options, really. Uh, he could have been a backup, I suppose. I mean, that's obviously could have, uh, you know, definitely been a case. And hell, maybe Stidham actually does outperform him. Maybe Hoyer outperforms him. And uh, Cam Newton is a backup. But let's be honest, there's a very good chance he's going to win that job as long as he's healthy. But he could have also waited in free agency. He could have sat there and waited for a team to, uh, you know, to lose their starting quarterback. I mean, I remember when Rodgers went down, I was thinking as, you know, desperate as it was that they would maybe even go for Colin Kaepernick. I know nobody wanted to touch him, and, and now uh, hopefully he does actually get a legit chance with an NFL team. If there's talks, I know his agent is probably still, if he wants to come back, still asking for ridiculous amounts of money. Um, but... You know, it, it those teams, they get desperate. I'm not saying his contract would be amazing, but he would be able to step into a pretty much guaranteed, you know, position of, of power and spotlight. Because, you know, usually when a team is willing to go out and pay a good amount of money for a free agent after their injury, they're probably a good team. You know, maybe it's the Niners if Jimmy Garoppolo gets injured again. Uh, you know, that was kind of a freak accident kind of injury. I don't think that is super, you know, expected, but... There's a very good chance that one or two, maybe three starting quarterbacks go down for a good amount of time or even the season, maybe even the Steelers. I know they didn't really demand, you know, uh, get a demanding season to get to the playoffs, but, you know, it's the Steelers, they could be a decent team, so I don't know. Cam Newton would almost be a perfect replacement for Big Ben there, uh, you know, if he got injured or something because he's been injured a little bit over the last season, but... Overall, Cam Newton to the Patriots, once again, like we said, we didn't know if it was going to be a fit. Obviously, uh, I would assume the Patriots would have loved Tom Brady to be as mobile as Cam Newton, you know, as as big as him to take a hit or two when it comes to, you know, when there's pressure in his face. Because obviously, we know in the past, Tom Brady, smartly so, um, you know, falls down, takes the, you know, 
takes the sack, takes the yardage. Cam Newton isn't really going to do that. Obviously, he's going to have to change his ways probably. You know, he's probably going to have to be a little less mobile, I would assume. But at the same time, maybe not. Maybe Bill Belichick, the master he is, will find a way. Obviously, he's not really an offensive guru, but... You know, maybe they'll find a way to use his athleticism and try to keep him safe at the same time. I know, you know, in the past, Tom Brady at times would, you know, go for the uh, the QB sneak for the touchdown uh, or the first down. And obviously with Cam, he's one of the better ones in the league, if not the best one in the league right now, to do so. So, I don't know. I mean, the Patriots, their weapons weren't great last year. And I don't really think they did a super great job of, you know, adding to that, you know, this post, you know, this last offseason. But... As far as offensive lines go, this is by far the best offensive line Cam Newton has ever, you know, sat behind. Not even close. As much as people want to say Cam Newton was, you know, a selfish player and got himself injured doing, you know, too much. A lot of the times, if not all of his injuries, were literally behind the line of scrimmage in the pocket behind a terrible offensive line, uh, specifically the tackle position, which is obviously pretty much the most important position on an offensive line. And, of course, when you go to the uh, the Patriots, that offensive line is probably a top-five line in the league right now. So Cam Newton should have quite a bit of time behind the line of scrimmage if he is the starter, which, I mean, once again, we would almost always, we would all pretty much assume he is going to, uh, what is it called? He is going to start, Stidham played that many games? Oh, no, Hoyer, okay. I was about to say, Stidham didn't play 40 NFL games, did he? As a starter, it's, like, it's not even possible. Um, but, yeah, I mean, former MVP Cam Newton, you know, you know, 2015 MVP was the year, obviously. It wasn't that long ago. You know, it wasn't that long ago at all everyone wants to make fun of the jump on the fumble thing that has literally nothing to do with anything so you know forget about that uh but i mean that's pretty much it for me if you guys i probably should have mentioned in the beginning i probably will you know dub it over later because i want to get those likes in boys get the likes in get the subscribes in. <laughs> uh but if you guys do want to see a patriots cam newton rebuild which you know we almost already did in the past because of that uh that troll tweet Maybe leave a like on the video and subscribe. Uh, if we hit, like, I don't know, 300 likes, we'll do a, uh, a Patriots Cam Newton rebuild tomorrow. We'll do it tomorrow. I know it's crazy because we just had a uh, quote-unquote reload rebuild of the Jets on Sunday, which is yesterday. But I'm, I'm saying it, like, on Sunday because, like, the rebuild would be tomorrow. So it would be, like, a two days. Ago. I don't know, dude. Um, yeah, leave a like. Let me, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of Cam Newton uh, being on the Patriots. Also... Uh, there was some other Patriots news. They, uh, the NFL fined the Patriots 1.1 mil for filming the Bengals sideline, which once again, it's like, why? Like they, they had to film more than the Bengals, right? Like it had to be more than the Bengals or was it, were the Bengals like on hard knocks or something? Let me see. What does it say? Like, what? I don't understand that. Like, why would, why would they care about the Bengals? But they also lost a 2021 third round draft pick, which you know, if it was a first or a second, it wouldn't be that big because they're usually pretty trash at drafting earlier rounds. Uh, but third round pick, that could be like the the future of their their team right there gone because you know, <laughs> the whole jokies. Uh, but yeah, I mean, looking at Cam Newton's career, you know, not the greatest of seasons, but definitely a talented guy and uh, definitely a huge improvement when it comes to that QB room, without a doubt. You've got... Uh, Hell, maybe even just Stidham's, you know, mentors with Hoyer and uh, Cam Newton. Either way, uh, also there was some stupid thing. I don't, I don't understand why the NFL and analysts and they're so addicted to making up stupid stats. No one cares about, but the whole the Patriots are the first team in NFL history to lose and gain a former MVP in one off season. Oh my God, that means something. No, no one cares. Uh, also, another interesting thing was uh, I think I seen uh, Jameis Winston and Cam Newton's contracts combined are less than Chase Daniel, if I'm not mistaken. Also, you compare them to Ryan Tannehill making like 30 mil next season. I think Taysom Hill's making 10 mil. Where, where is Taysom Hill? Is he still in the Saints? I don't even know. Uh, you know, Phillip Rivers, 25 mil. It's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, with that division, though. I wasn't going to get this video to uh, 10 minutes, but we are now. Let's get them ads in there, boys. Let's do this thing. But 
with that division, I mean, it's really what? The Bills and Patriots division to lose. The Jets are just not even close if Sam Darnold even decides to play this season. You know, he seems like he's been just completely missing. What do you have, like, some some sickness for, like, the whole year? I don't even know. The Dolphins, unless Tua is, like, the greatest thing of all time in NFL history, they're not ready either. They did make some strides, I will say. You know, the Dolphins could surprise some teams this year, but I don't see them going over eight or nine wins. The Patriots might be back in it. Uh, you know, maybe Tam, maybe Cam Newton ruins Tom Brady's uh, legacy and just turns Bill Belichick into the greatest coach of all time, basically. Wouldn't really turn him, but you know what I mean. Obviously, if, if Cam Newton brought the Patriots to a Super Bowl win this season, this upcoming season, if we even have one at this rate, uh, definitely damaging to Tom Brady's career. But it's definitely going to be interesting. The real question is... Does Tom Brady play uh, the Patriots this year? I would assume that was a thing. Like, most QBs want that, right? Uh, Tom Brady came in the first thing that shows up. Uh, Patriots 2020. It's technically the 2020 schedule, right? Did they not play the Buccaneers? Screw that. Did he really actually join a team that's not going to play the Patriots next year? I would be so petty. I would almost have to go to a team that is going to play them because I would just want to show them what they're missing out on, what they what they neglected for uh, for receiving options. Obviously, you know the Patriots did try with some of their first round picks and you know second round picks, but didn't really hit on that receiving uh, look. But as far as getting the video to 10 minutes, I think we did it. <laughs> Anyways, though, we will have a Flyers video out later today. And like I said, 300 likes. We will do a uh, Patriots Cam Newton rebuild tomorrow. Not Thursday, not Sunday. Tomorrow. I know, a Tuesday rebuild. What the hell is going on? Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys uh, did enjoy it. Hopefully I didn't completely ruin your knowledge on the NFL because obviously my, uh, my knowledge is lacking at times. If there's anything you want to add or, uh, you know, conversate about in the comment section, let me know. I am there, uh, unlike a lot of YouTubers I know. <laughs> it's not a shot at anyone, just, you know, I've seen lots of, uh, lots of barren comment sections in my day. And, yeah, hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed. Hopefully you come back for next video, which will be a little bit later today. Maybe even on the second channel. But until next video, see ya!